Oh, readings and salutations, universe. This is Krita, and this is Omni Factory. How are you doing? Hi. Hello. Okay, so in the last episode, we got together some osmium. We got to sort of a few dregs of it, and, uh, you know, that's fine and dandy and all that jazz, but we needed a place to cook it up. So we took it to the overworld, and we realized, you know what, we really need IV machines. So... Here we have some IV machines. We got 20 centrifuges, 5 and 5 pulverizers, and 10 ore washing plants. All IV, all, I think, powered by the sun via the solar panel. So it's virtually free, it's lovely, it's beautiful, it's fantastic, and we have stuff. And this stuff we're able to basically toss into our system like so. Uh, yes, we're gonna have a more professional version of doing that at some juncture, but everything is set up. We even have the packagers, etc. And uh, I just wanted to quickly talk about this system. But to do that, we need more ores. Alright, and I think... Ah! Where am I? I'm down here. There we go. Okay. <laughs> we figured it out. Um, we have three more ships to send off. I've had a few more, but that's okay. We're gonna just send these ones off, and one of them will be back momentarily, and while we wait, I want to say how awesome is this mod pack. The developers are doing a marvelous job. I could not be happier. Now, we should have a full set has returned, and we can take a look at just how much this is going to net us just like so. So we're going to put these in, we can find out how quickly our system can handle a little bit of osmium, uh, though I think it does put quite a lot of it into one location. That's not perfect, but that's okay, no big deal. Um, and what it's doing is I have the main network is on green, that goes into the sorting system. So here we have uh, ores, we'll go into here. That's just in case I get ores flowing through these pipes somehow. I can have multiple inputs. Uh, if it's um, ready from the pulverizer, it's crushed. But crushed stuff has multiple things going on with it, right? I think I've talked about that in the past. We have crushed osmium and crushed purified osmium. So we have two more uh, filters from this chest. One is crushed purified on blacklist and one is Crush Purified on Whitelist. That way, it distinguishes between the two and puts them away. And then from here, it takes the blue line to be washed, or here, the cyan, to get pulverized a second time, and then just a normal sorting, I think right here, Dust Pure, to go to the final centrifuge, where we will get, right here, our final ingredients. So we can see that those 16 osmium gave us only 32 uh, osmium, and that's not that great. There are methods to get more, like using a Fortune 3 hammer or something of that nature. It's a fantastic trick, but this is also a fantastic trick, putting in our iridium, and we're going to see a whole bunch of dusty dusts start flowing into our system, not only here in the form of platinum, but whole bits of osmium, see? Already pouring in. I love this system, right? It is marvelous. Now, if we can just wait a moment, we'll see exactly what we get from, I believe it was just one of those rockets. Uh, those rockets are pretty much free, right? We, oh, see? <laughs> We're getting mountains of osmium just from one rocket, and we have another two waiting from us for us down here, right? Here we go, another four stacks of iridium, 32 osmium. It is happy days for the system, but I'm gonna put those into my own inventory. I wanna see what the system can produce from that one rocket. Hello, it gets a little bit grumpy. We're already at, what? what is that, four stacks of osmium? Couldn't be happier. This is one rocket, one rocket. It's a little bit expensive, but that's okay. No big deal. All right, so, still waiting. What's taking so long? It should be done. Stuff's still flowing. Anywho, 
I'll wait a moment, make sure that this is finally finished, and we'll see just how much we got. And I think we were pretty much finished. All of this from run one rocket, right? We should be able to triple this by putting in our iridium and osmium. I don't necessarily want every bit of osmium to get cooked up right now. Iridium, uh, I think you also have a use in the form of HSSS. Uh, but the osmium, I'm looking forward to making some enderium with eventually. We do need a better blast furnace coil block, but for right now, that's okay. We even need it for some HSSS, right? High speed steel mark S, like superior? I don't know. Because what, what are they? It's uh, HSS ingot. We have the good, excellent, and superior. That's what I'm going to go with. Excellent being my favorite because of the green color, right? And I've set up a, as promised, I moved the multi-smelter. We have our vacuum freezer and a little bit of osmium. Already 1,000 of that just from a few rockets. No problem at all. In fact, I think it's cooking the stuff that I put in just now. Fantastic. I love it. Beautiful. Couldn't be happier. Moving along, all right? So what are we doing now? We have osmium, and I want to see if, can we do this quite yet into the microverse ultimate catalyst? So we need, uh, at package, we're going to be, nope, it's not you, extended, there we go, extended. I want to see what we really need for the old crystalline guy. We need osmiridium plates. I think we have everything else. So this really is the thing that we need. Alloy smelter. No. Osmiridium. Do we really have to cook these up special? Yeah. Gotta cook these things up special. But it is nichrome and EV power. So I think we're going to aim for some osmiridium. Let's get rid of these. A, A, A. I feel like holding it usually works. Um, my goal is the crystalline component, and for that we need osmiridium. Fantastic. Uh, always good to have a little notepad up here telling you what your goal is. It's really helpful. Or a recipe that you just can never seem to remember or you want to craft a lot of. Okay, so we need a spot with helium set up. So I might put that on the edge of this, and yes, I have been very selective with where it is in the chunks. Fantastic, beautiful, couldn't be happier. All right, Whoop, there we go, and helium. Of course, a option is always just to move it a few things over, and uh, osmium over to there, and we have a spot for fluid. Now the reason I can't just do it in the middle here is we're quite restricted on what we do. I could have put it right there. Hmm. Anyway, we're putting it right here. Uh, so, right here, yoink, we already have a sorter set up, so it should be as simple as putting that in there. Uh, the input bus should be set to go, there we go. Uh, one and three is on the limit, so as long as it has those three things, it should be all good to go. Is it that fast? Oh, that is fantastic. Beautiful. I like it when something like that is rapid. Now, we are going to be making sure it has its own spot. Once this gets up to power level two, that should be okay. I'll figure that out later, um, especially once we have a bigger overflow of osmium and iridium. Uh, that should make me quite happy. Now, was that the final thing we needed? Just turn it into that, and crystalline is here for us. I, I think that might be everything we need, right? We have the ability to make this, yep. Uh, ultimate is uranium-235. That shouldn't be too tricky. Um, are we able to use uranium from this project up here? I don't know. Let's take a quick peek. Extruder, lathe, fluid extractor. We might... Oh, compactor might work. Yeah? Is that gonna, is that just gonna be friendly? 
fluid extractor compactor. We could make a compactor. Sure. Why not? Especially for that? Heck yeah. There it is. Beautiful. So let's grab a bit of uranium. Eight stacks should do for a little while. We're, mo we're very much focused on just getting this set up because uh, we need the combination. I think we need this thing. We need something else. But we'll figure that out momentarily. The first step, I think, is to grab some patterns as we are always running low on them. No problem. Toss that in there and put in the recipe. Beautiful. Love it. Couldn't be happier. Fantastic. Compressor, please and thank you. Doink. Put that in here. Compressor. Lovely. Could do the cutting machine, but that's okay. No big deal. And the crystalline component. I guess we'll just toss that in somewhere. It doesn't matter a whole lot. And it should be as simple as calling that. Now, do we need the ultimate one as well? We do. And that is the green one. Do we already have that one set up? What are these called? Components. We have one right there. Or does it need to be the bigger one? It probably needs to be the bigger one. I'm sure. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for cooperating. There we go. Ultimate catalyst. The next one is the conflux one. That probably requires its own recipe. No big deal. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Beautiful. Couldn't be happier. Lovely. Toss it in the system somewhere. Doesn't matter a whole lot. And at extended. We want to see if we can craft one of these. Why? What? Oh, yes. Not a problem. Always more recipes. But the beautiful thing is, right? With a system like this, unlike normal Minecraft, we just always have the capabilities now. It is no problem to make more, right? Now, we just have to make sure that our system is reading the overworld where a lot of this is apparently stored and make some more crystalline ingots. Let's see if we can take care of that now. Can we? It looks like we can. Crystalline, uh, confluix, all the good jazz. This is what we needed. Uh, this is going to allow us to make the crazy ultimate extended crafting table, and I believe that these crystalline ones are what we were waiting on to make an automation interface. This is what we need for all of these sort of package crafters, uh, which I believe we can actually set up automated crafting right here. Quest complete, love it, could not be happier or more excited about that. Did I never make this? Ugh. But, I mean, it is slightly frustrating, but not the end of the world. I don't know why I was avoiding that. Anywho, uh, we have that, so we might as work well work towards this guy. Can I make three more, please? No? Oh, dang it. All right, well, we'll work on getting the automated side of things first. So what was that? Right, we need to go to at extended and we want the automation interface. Right, this is what we want. Crystalline components, we need a few more of those, please. Can we make 20 of them? I doubt it. Oi, function, please. Thank you, not thank you. Very frustrating. Need to make yet more of those, but it is not a problem. It, we're not going to allow that to interfere in our fantastic time of making a few of these yoink and the automation interface. Um, I would really like to get two of them because I think that we need one for each of these and it looks like I have that and just like that I should have this one as well. Ho 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 ho! Get out of here! Get out of here! We need to figure out how these things function. I've already tried in the past and it is time to try again. So this is tier two. I guess we'll put that there, that there, and figure it out. So it has power, okay. 
and cars outside need to fix their brakes. But it should be as simple as... Actually, I have absolutely no idea. We had those little card things. It was packaged... Where was that? It was a pattern maker. Something of that nature. Pattern encoder. Was it you? It might have been that. Expanded. No. Let's figure that out again. All right, we have our test bench set up. And I'm hoping that this makes sense. We have a packager. Uh, this takes items from the AE system. And I think that when we try and call the crystalline ingot, it's going to make little packages. The packages go to the unpacker and the unpacker puts the items into the Elite Package Crafter. Uh, at least that is how I understand it. Um, but uh, that that is all that makes sense to me at the moment. So we're hopeful. Um, I believe that we got those from the packager. Where did the little guys go? I just had them. They were in my inventory, and now they're gone. Oh, they're right here. Um, these are package recipe holders. They're very expensive. They take crystalline blocks, uh, which at the moment are just really annoying to make. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it is fixed. Uh, so we are able to call one. Let's see. So it's going to craft a recipe package. And then something happens here. It takes some time. I'm not sure about that time thing right there. Um, and it pops into somewhere. Hopefully just the AE system so I don't have to tinker around too much. Hey! That... That worked! It... It functioned! Um... Neat! So how many of these can I have? It said that uh, the unpackager, blah, 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 um, each package is a set, yada, yada, a simple recipe, yada, yada. Each holder can store up to 20 different recipes. Okay, so in theory, I should be able to take this encoder, I don't know if you need energy encoder, um, and put more recipes into these holders. At least that's how I understand it. Uh, so recipe slot something. Where did it go? Uh, load. Ah, there we go. So we really want certain things, specifically micro minor uh, ships and their components. So the one that we're focused on right now, make sure it's right there, beautiful, is this guy. That looks weird. But okay, um, processing, ordered, advanced, elite. Ah, so we want to select the proper one first. I don't know why you want it to be in, there we go. Save? Did that, did that work? No. Advanced, elite. It is an elite one, so I don't know why you're getting all confluffled. And save. I don't know what I did. I clicked some buttons, and now both of these have the recipe. I think I hit save once this was locked in somehow. Not sure what went on there, but that's okay. Uh, these both need to have the recipe, the packager and the unpackager. And the unpackager needs to be next to the crafter. I don't necessarily think that the packager and unpackager need to be next to each other. This is very, very interesting. But what it means is I should be able to summon everything for this. I don't have the ability to auto-craft these yet, so that is the one thing left, I think. Right? Because the guidance system, yep, we have those on auto. But the two-pronged thingamabobber which I believe is this, is not auto-crafted yet. But I can hit summon, and items will craft in the system, 
and then they'll end up here. Aha! And auto craft? Cool. How do we speed this up? That is very important. It's probably in this recipe right here, and for that guy, we need to get those four catalyst thingamabobber doohickey guys for the ultimate guy. Yeah. Yeah, we need more of these. And with the ability to auto craft crystalline, it should be as simple as that. Now, I did happen to notice that we have two blocks of this, so I am going to expediate that process. But I would like to see, and that is extended. I want to see us be able to craft a few more of these. Nice? Nice. Start. Hey, start. Excuse me. System. Probably need to restart the server. It's been a few days. <laughs> but there we go. We have these. Now we just need to slap it into the, a uh, crafting bench. And voila. Beautiful. Um, now my question is... Oh, thank you. Quest complete. That also means that a book is complete once we make a rod of return. Um, I think that we have this weird ability to duplicate these. Not too sure why, but uh, I'm not going to say no to a gift horse in the mouth, right? Uh, make a few of these just in case we need them in the future, and plop them down. Uh, do we have the capabilities to maybe make one of these? Maybe, possibly, that'd be cool, please? Maybe? Packager? Uh, nope. Um, extended? There we go. Black iron frame. I don't know if we need one of those. Hello! Into the system you go. And automation. Fantastic. Doink. And the shiny beautiful green one please and thank you there we go now we have at least one crafter for each color right and we can start populating that with crafting recipes so that I can come over here and call you know a hundred crystalline things if we had the nether uh, star recipe which is hilarious nether star uh, if we had these stored in a barrel, this wouldn't be an issue, but you know, sometimes it's better to have things stored in funny locations, and I'm not too worried about that. Uh, with that, we now can summon all of the crystalline that we want, albeit it will take a little bit of time. And I imagine that I might want to figure out how to speed this along. Uh, is there a way to do it? I would like to know, please, and thank you. Um, osmium, yada yada. Uh, package crafting, AE2, cool. Parallelizing, you can surround the an unpackager with crafting, crafters, and it will use all of them. Um, cool more unpackagers with crafters to keep up with the packager as long as the holder holders are all the same wow okay so the answer is there isn't a way to speed it up with items but we can make more of the of that and it will function very well probably by surrounding six of them around the unpackager and that should function very beautifully i like it Unfortunately, we ran out of time, but that's okay because there's always next episode, and I hope to see you there. This has been Krita playing Omni Factory. Hope you've had a wonderful time. Bye bye!